Welcome back Toy Fans to episode 141 of Reynolds Reviews and on today's episode, a masked play set we never had. Cue the match. Welcome back everyone. Now like I said in the intro, today we are going to take a look at a masked play set that we never had. Now when I was growing up in the 80s we were surrounded by some fantastic toy lines but not only that we were also given some amazing play sets. So, for example, toy lines such as Star Wars, we've got things like the Palatoy Death Star, we've got things like the Cloud City playset, we've got things like the Creature Cantina playset, toy lines such as He-Man, we've got Castle Grayskull, we've got Snake Mountain, even got things like the Eternia playset. But when it came to Mask, it was severely lacking playsets. Later on in the racing series, around 87, we did get things like Pitstop Catapult, we've got things like Billboard Blast, uh, the collector set, but obviously not forgetting Boulder Hill. But when it came to Boulder Hill, I always remember thinking that there was too many play sets that would have accompanied it very well. And thanks to Cliff Dagger, a member of our UK Mask Facebook group, I no longer have to imagine. Give me the best agents for this mission. Personnel selected. Luke Reynolds, toy fan and mask collector. Vehicle code name, Fire Spray. Okay, so here we go. So this package has been sent by Cliff Dagger. That's the name he goes by on Facebook. Uh, he's all the way in Paris, but fantastic guy. A really reputable member of our Facebook group. Um, I have opened it just for quickness, but let's get this open and see what Cliff Dagger has sent us. And there we go. So as you can see, Cliff Dagger is a customizer. He makes custom play sets as well as other things when it comes to masks. And this is a mini play set that I would have killed for when I was a kid. I would have hounded my parents for this if this was out. So company Boulder Hill, it would have been perfect. And as you can see, like I said, this is the mask agent call up computer. And look at that. I mean, not only does Cliff Dagger do these uh, play sets, I mean, as you can see, just the boxes we've got dagger in the bottom corner so there can be no confusion these can't be obviously we never had these as original anyway back in the day but obviously there's no confusion whether these were original because he's got dagger instead of kenner in the corner in the kenner font but i mean just look at the artwork on the front it's unbelievable fantastic artwork and this would not have looked out of place on the shelves when we were kids absolutely amazing if we flip it over we can see on the top we've got some images of the play set itself we've got that amazing mask logo that bold white blocky sort of font that we used to get the names of the vehicles and play sets in and then we've got some images on the side as well so it says there this is an unofficial custom toy got it in a couple of other languages as well so again there can't be any confusion this is a custom not a reproduction and they just look amazing so but we didn't come to look at the box. Let's get this out and see what we've got. Okay, and here we go. So as you can see, playset all unwrapped. Looks amazing, but you'll also see that we didn't just get the playset. And this is just how good Cliff Dagger's stuff really is. So not only do we get the playset, we get a custom box. We get our very own set of instructions. Again, we've got the Dagger logo there, so no confusion. Again, you can't confuse these because we didn't have these sets back in the 80s. But in the Kenner style, I mean, how fantastic is that? looks fantastic but not only do we get a custom set of instructions we even get a custom poster from Cliff Dagger and this goes through all the other things that he makes now some of them are limited you know limited runs so you might not get them all but one thing that did catch my eye he produces a custom shark now shark is a vehicle we never got back in the 80s and I believe it was to do with the rights from James Bond and the uh, Lotus, the the uh, the Lotus that goes under the water. I believe that was why we couldn't have this vehicle uh, because it was seen as too similar. And I think James Bond had the rights to it. But yeah, we've got so many other vehicles that we never got in the line that Cliff Dagger produces. We've got things like the transport plane that you will see in the cartoon if you watch it. But one thing that also caught my eye, he does a custom Big Stomp trailer for Rhino. So. These are amazing. So make sure you visit Cliff Dagger on Facebook. He's also got an Etsy shop, which I will leave a link in the description afterwards. But let's take a look at this playset. So one thing you'll have noticed is not only do we get the playset, but we get a Matt Tracker, all suited and booted, as if he's ready to sit at the computer and call up the agents. So let's have a quick look. Now, 
I'm going to make a reference to a good friend of mine, Monkey Boy over at Monkey Boy's Toys. He's a big mask fan. I think he'll be watching this. So, we're going to look at Matt Tracker and we're going to look at his face. Look at that. That's fantastic. So, we've got custom figures as well. And we've even got, if I can stand him up, is he not going to stand? There we go. That took some doing. Cliff Dagger has even thrown in a custom. Miles Mayhem new Viper mask, which I believe Miles Mayhem wears when he's driving Wolf Beast. And like I said, Cliff Dagger also produces masks. Some masks are really hard to get when it comes to the figures, so Cliff Dagger makes his own. So you can get those on his Etsy page as well. So look at that, that is awesome. And you'll also notice the cable. And what's the cable for? Well, I can hear you all asking, and yes, it charges up the computer because the computer does work. So we're gonna take a look at that now. Now I don't know how well you can see the screen everyone because it is quite light in here so the screen is a little bit dim but you can see the computer is on and I'm going through all the different modes so we've got them in different languages but let's try the intro first. I mean, how cool is that? I mean, I don't know how well you can see it, but that is awesome. So not only, if we just press that, not only can we watch the mass cartoon intro, let's see if we can get the agent call up. Check this out. Now, I don't know if you can see it because the screen is quite thin. Obviously, it's quite bright in here, so it's tough to see. But I assure you, all the mask agents are being called up and everything is on the screen. So you can see it a little bit better when it comes up like that. But, I mean, how awesome is this? So many modes. There's a Thunderhawk tribute. Let's quickly see what that is. So we've got a Thunderhawk short with uh, a bit of ACDC Thunderstruck. Wow. Okay. So let's just sort that out. Okay, now how awesome is that? And then we would get our Matt Tracker in his suit. We could see him in his seat, spin him round. And then he would call up all the mask agents. Now, of course, you don't really call up all the mask agents. This is just a toy. You have to use your imagination. But... I mean, imagine if we could have incorporated this into Boulder Hill somewhere. Now, in my head, I would like to get a tier to sit Boulder Hill on. And I would like to incorporate this somewhere underneath it, as well as um, the energy room. And believe it or not, um, Cliff Dagger also does an energy room playset. So I do plan to get that at some point. But how awesome is this? With a working computer, it is just so, so cool. So... Cliff Dagger, if you're watching, thank you so much. I absolutely love it. I mean, the detail on it is amazing. And he does so many different sets as well to incorporate this. Um, he does like a bigger set where you can actually incorporate the computer with the energy room next to it. Um, again, if you're interested in any of these, I recommend you check out his page and his Etsy page. But I mean, just look at this. We never had this back in the day. And I mean, my God, I would have loved this as a set. So yeah, absolutely love it. Thank you for sending me it, Cliff Dagger. Um, I will definitely be back for more in the future. Um, but like I said, if you like his stuff, check out his Etsy shop, check out his Facebook page. Lovely guy, he's great with his communication. Um, now I will tell you what I paid for this. Now I can't be exact because obviously it was in Euros, but I paid with postage just under, I believe it was just under 100 Euros, so maybe £95. Now that might sound like a lot, uh, but when you actually think about it, this is coming from Paris, so there's postage in there. Obviously, you've got a custom playset, you've got a custom Matt Tracker figure, uh, you've got custom box, you've got a poster, you've got instructions, you've got a charging cable, and he even threw in um, a custom mask for me. Now, I'm not saying I'll do that with everybody, but 
I think this is definitely value for money. It is such a cool set. So thank you again, Cliff Dagger. I will be back for more. And there we go. So everything back on the table. And again, I could not be happier with this play set. It is such a cool item. With the box, with all the instructions, uh, with Matt Tracker in his suit, and the custom poster showing everything else that Cliff Dagger does, I could not be happy with this. So again, if you're watching Cliff Dagger, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. Um, but yeah, there we go. If you want one of these, jump on his Etsy shop or contact him via Facebook. He's great with his communication. We'll get back to you. But again, check out his other sets as well. He's got other vehicles and the Energy Room playset, which I will be back for without a doubt. So there we go. I uh, hope you enjoyed that, everyone. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by and giving me a shot. I hope you'll consider leaving a like and subscribing. And if you're one of my existing viewers and existing subscribers, thank you for sticking with me, everyone. I really do appreciate it. Leave any comments or questions in the comment section below. I always try to read everyone's comments and get back to everybody. And as always, keep collecting. I'll see you next time.